Hey gems, I hope everyone is doing and feeling well. Today is May 14th and it's approximately 1333, okay? Um, I've already prayed, I've already saged and asked my ancestors and guides to lead us in truth today as we tap into the energy. So I'm going to shuffle the cards two more times and then we're going to jump into the energy and see what it holds at this hour. All right, so it looks like there's some type of illegal activity that is taking place. Um, <clears throat> I mean, this can be anything. Um, this can be, you know, some type of fraud, you know, someone selling um, illegal narcotics, okay? This can be, um, this can be anything, okay? Just, but it's some type of illegal activity that is taking place here. Um, and for this to come out, someone is either being made aware of this, okay, or someone needs to be made aware of this, okay? Someone has to come aware of this, okay? Um, okay, yeah, but whatever this is here, it looks like you have someone around you or someone, you know, may not be around you, but someone that knows of you and may know um what it is that a person may be into okay um that may not you know it, it's illegal so it's something that you know you're not supposed to be doing whoever this person is if you are in a relationship with this person okay or like i said it can just be someone who you know they're just is jealous of you they're just saying you know i'll put you in jail before i see you leave um before i see you live well okay so you definitely have someone who is willing to um wreck whoever you are out okay uh, because they don't want to see you live well, all right? Um, it says who you leave, and so it could be somebody you're in a relationship with, okay? Um, this does not necessarily have to be something romantic. This can be career-wise, okay? This can be a business partner, or this can even be um, a platonic friend, okay? It, you know, if you threaten to cut them off, and you are their main source of income, um, or they gain something from you in some shape way or form and you threatening to you know end a relationship with this person they definitely you know like well hell i'm just gonna go ahead and tell you what i know i'd rather see your ass in jail than i here living well with somebody else okay um yeah okay and then it looks like we have some people who may be trying to um instill some type of fear um or doubt in another individual's um mind about a situation um or a person here okay but just know that these people may be they may be have a limited belief in a situation or a person because they themselves just you know can't think that far they can't see that far ahead or they just don't believe in whatever it is that you may believe in or they may know even know that whatever this is you know could potentially be good for you however they want to put doubt in your mind so you don't go towards um something or this can even be you you know trying to stop you from leaving okay um, because we do have here, you know, who you leave. And so this could be somebody trying to, you know, say these things, even threatening you. If you leave, I'm going to tell on you, you know, about some type of illegal activity that you may be involved in or know about. OK, or this can be something somebody trying to make up. But you definitely have here someone who is trying to instill fear in another individual. OK, so someone sees something that someone feels like something is a little strange here. Um, they feel like something is a little abnormal. Something is somebody has a suspicion about something here. OK. Um, this can even be this, you know, people could be saying things to another individual at this time and they may be like this, this no, nah, something ain't right. Why are they saying these things? Why they keep trying to, you know, steer me in another direction? OK, something seems a little suspicious here. And whoever you are, um, you are absolutely correct. OK, follow what you feel. All right. And then we have here, I'm sleeping with your man. So, child, somebody could have an inkling that somebody cheating with somebody they know. Okay. Um, and if this is what you feel like you got some suspicion of, okay. And somebody could be trying to tell you that's not what it is. That's exactly what it is. Okay. That's exactly what it is. And they're trying to, you know, put doubts in your mind, okay? Or, or, or this can even be somebody trying to come towards you and say that they're sleeping with your man and they not, okay? 
but we definitely have here someone says i'm sleeping with your man however like i said this 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 could be somebody who they're trying to leave but in order to get this person or you to walk away from each other this person is going to come and say they're still sleeping with another individual who they absolutely are not okay um or they could be i don't know jim you, you just have to put yourself you know in whatever position that you're in in this equation if this even obtain to you okay pertain not obtain pertain to you sorry guys um we have lust here so someone is in a very lustful energy here okay or somebody could be lusting over another individual um someone could definitely be seeing that whoever they were in a relationship with that it was not love it was only lust okay um and this could be why someone you know is wanting to leave someone behind here okay we have um somebody could have had a miscarriage or an abortion okay or someone can feel like something is a little odd here about a, a how somebody you know lost a child or if they was even pregnant okay but it's something about an abortion or a miscarriage here okay um or the reasons behind why somebody could have had an abortion okay so excuse me someone sees someone as a leader here like you were the um chief all right someone definitely sees someone as a leader here all right um Jim, this can be you. You could be viewing someone like this as this, or someone could be viewing you as this, okay? But we definitely have here that someone is a leader, okay? All right, and then we have here um, this fake their death card, okay? Um, so this could even be pertaining to this abortion or miscarriage. Somebody could have said they were pregnant and they were not, okay? Um, all right, or this could definitely be something about somebody fake their death, okay? And I, you know, I mean, it is what it is, but I'm thinking that it's pertaining to this miscarriage or abortion. Someone could be claiming that they had, and this is why somebody is feeling a little, you know, feeling like something ain't right here. You know, you got a little inkling telling you that something, something is not what they say it is here. Okay. And this can be pertaining to this abortion or miscarriage. Like I said, someone could have faked that they were pregnant and never were. Okay. And then we have identity theft, child. So hold on, hold on. What this is here. This can be the, Ill the illegal activity. Okay um yeah i don't know somebody could have faked their death and you know stole someone else's identity okay this person could have moved somewhere else and then you know took over someone else's identity here okay um or this is something that someone is planning to do all right but whatever this shit is, whatever end of the spectrum, who's ever on, just know if you on the, the downward spiral, you know, karma is being served at this time, okay? And and somebody getting towed up by karma, okay? Somebody is definitely receiving um, a heavy dose of karma at this time, okay? Um, yeah. Mm hmm someone definitely can be, is receiving karma and it's something here about the whining moon okay something is definitely complete okay um a cycle is definitely being completed at or has been completed okay someone has a filthy house someone is not taking care of their domestic home uh responsibilities here okay um again this car keeps coming out so somebody definitely needs to rethink your priorities okay um I don't know. Somebody could be, you know, partying too much or giving something else too much of their time, which is why their house is not um, up to par here. OK. Some of y'all could be seeing a eight. OK. Um, this has everything to do with, you know, wish fulfillments. OK. Great success and abundance, prosperity, things. Child, I don't know why this thing keep cutting off so fast, but that's why it keeps sounding like I'm stopping and restarting. It just keep cutting off, okay? But yeah, some of y'all definitely could be walking into, um, you know, great success, okay? Abundance and prosperity. And we did just have here that a cycle is being completed, okay? A cycle has been complete. And um, whatever this is, whoever you are that's on the upright of things, this is what you're getting ready to walk into, okay?
And then we have here, I'm not husband material, I'm for the street. So y'all have a husband here, <clears throat> could very much so, who have been cheating and got someone else pregnant, okay? Because we have here, I'm sleeping with your man. And then we have here, I'm not husband material, I'm for the street. So there can be a married man <clears throat> who definitely does not need to be married, okay? Because clearly this person is not uh, husband material, okay? As the card says here, um, this person could have gotten somebody pregnant, all right? And they could have made this person have an abortion. Um, okay, or call somebody to have a miscarriage because, you know, they're married and they didn't want this to get out. Okay, um, yeah. So some of y'all definitely have someone that is close in your proximity that is crushing on you, okay? Um, it says a neighbor, okay? But this can be... Anybody, just somebody who's close to you, okay? This can be even be at your workplace, okay? This can be at the gym here, okay? But you definitely have someone who is definitely crushing on you, all right? And then we have zombie here, okay? This zombie card can mean exactly what it says, zombie, okay? Or somebody could just be in a zombie-like state, okay? This could, somebody could definitely be on some type of drugs here, okay? Somebody can be on drugs so heavily till they aren't able to, you know, respond or move or, or think clearly. Um, and this could be why somebody house filthy child. Somebody could have a filthy house because they, you know, something they're doing that's keeping them in a state of confusion. Okay. And a sluggish energy here. Okay. And then we have an actress here. So somebody could be an actress. You can be an actress, Jim, or somebody else, um, is an actress here. Okay. This could be someone who, has someone crushing on them. Okay. I hope this isn't someone who is, you know, has a filthy house. Okay. I don't know. Um, but we definitely have someone here that is an actress and then we have a surprise. So somebody's going to get us receive some type of surprise. Okay. This can be a good surprise or a bad surprise child. I don't know, but it's something about a surprise, um, <clears throat> that is significant here. Someone can even be, uh, receiving some type of information that is going to shock them. All right. Child, somebody can be, somebody is definitely losing their hair, their physical appearance, okay? Things are just dwindling down, okay? And this is a person who may have tried to uh, wish this upon you, Jim. This person could have went to a practitioner or did some type of jar spills. I don't know what the hell they'd be doing, but, you know, um, I'm hearing voodoo doll or something like that, child, and it was trying to, you know, affect your appearance, um, however it looked like it has backfired, Okay. And this is now what is taking place with another individual here, okay? Um, hair, beauty, and body. And if y'all been with me, y'all know I have seen a few people whose appearance in my dream that just, ugh, I mean, just, they looked horrible, okay? Um, looking old and tired and ran down, okay? This can be a past person here, okay? Um <clears throat> This married man, you could have been with someone who is now married that, you know, could have gotten someone else pregnant or someone could have been wanted you to know that they were sleeping with your man at that time. OK. Um, <clears throat> or this person who was losing their, you know, their physical appearance. So this can even be your past person. Child. This could be a male as well. OK. Or this could be a female. However, you know, place the way it's supposed to be in here. The only thing that's indicating that is a woman here. We have somebody who was pregnant here, okay? And then we also have here a actress. And, you know, so um, I don't know. This past person can be your past person, Jim, um, which is a woman or vice versa, okay? Then we have acquaintance here. So this is someone who you really don't know well, okay? But you may know of, okay? Um, you may, you know see this person at the grocery store or at the gym or, you know, when you take walks or whatever this is, okay. Um, this could be a damn actress here. Cause you know, you don't know these people. You do not know these celebrities. Okay. These so-called celebrity shy. These are just people that you, you know, see, okay. That you acquaintance with, but you don't really physically know these individuals. Okay. So yeah, something can take place on a Saturday. So somebody can get some type of surprise sorry surprise on a saturday here okay um yeah this is you know saturday is connected to saturn okay and we know saturn is everything to do with uh reflecting fear structure you know what i'm saying um ne releasing negative energy but it also can be giving out karma we did have this goddamn karma being served so we're gonna put that right there and ooh, then we have here a fake pregnancy so somebody most definitely faked their pregnancy okay 
Somebody could have said that they were pregnant and they had an abortion or a miscarriage, okay? Um, however, this individual was one more pregnant than them than a man child. One pregnant at all. And I said, hey, faked it. They must be to keep this person because, you know, we go back earlier. We were saying that somebody was threatening to put somebody in jail um, if they leave them behind. OK. And. Yeah, this person could have definitely, you know, people do it every day, you know, unhealed individuals do it every day. They fake these pregnancies, to try to keep somebody in their life. And, you know, you just think about what else is an individual willing to do or capable of if they have to lie about conceiving um, something um and that's something a child in order to keep someone around. Like if you have to do all that to keep somebody, baby, a child shouldn't. I, 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 no, 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 no. You don't have to do that. OK, if a person wants to be with you, they're going to be with you if you have a child or not. Clearly, this person has something to gain from this individual who um, they were lying and saying they was pregnant by. OK, it was something that this individual is gaining from this person. OK. Um, but something is definitely in transit as we speak. Somebody could be moving. OK. And this can also be the planetary planetary things going on as, you know, also. OK. But something is definitely in motion. OK. And then we have 1010 10 here. So some of y'all definitely could be seeing the number 1010. 10, OK. And this has everything to do with, um, you know, accelerated pace. OK. Something can be creating at accelerated pace. OK. Um. You know, this has everything to do with you being able to trust your intuition, okay? You you have a powerful guidance that's around you, okay, which is your ancestors, okay? Um, and purity, also joy, okay? So somebody could be seeing that. We have a water sign. So a water sign could be um, needing to trust their uh, your intuition, okay? You have some guys around you, okay? This could be um, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, okay? Either of these signs, that's a water sign, okay? Something is significant about a Cancer Pisces a water sign in this reading, okay? This does not mean that this person is seeing 1010, but it could be as well. Dang, and then we got 1111 here, so change is definitely uh, taking place at this time. And again, this is why you need to trust what is taking place here, okay? Because things are ending, okay, in order for something else to begin here, okay? You have new beginnings. Change is... <laughs> upon you at this time and it may seem a little shaky but you just need to trust your guys okay um and make sure you're keeping your thoughts and body and everything around you in pure energy all right and then we have a scamming ring bust here okay so we this could be the illegal activity okay and we did have their identity theft so somebody was definitely um this is the illegal activity that somebody may be threatening to tell okay um, somebody could be around here living a high life, living as someone else, okay, or just scamming multiple people here. Um, but it looks like, you know, that definitely is going to come to an end here because we have a bust here. And when I have other cards indicating that it's just people scamming, okay? Um, so someone definitely has a low self-esteem, okay? And we know that we already see that from the cards out here because there's no way possible that you would, um, you know, stoop so low. <clears throat> and say things that aren't true, okay, in order to keep somebody or to keep a lifestyle. So clearly whoever this individual is does not feel worthy unless they have material things um, that validates them, okay? Um, their validation does not come from inward knowing, okay? It does not come from self-love. It comes from materialistic this person is just materialistic, okay? You know, they need material things in order to make them feel secure. And if this person does not have that, clearly, um, you know, they feel low about themselves or they're not worthy, okay? <clears throat> and if this is taking place that somebody is leaving somebody behind and they are not receiving or are able to, aren't able to keep up a lifestyle, this can definitely have somebody here. I don't have anything I hear that's indicating drugs. However, this zombie card out here, it definitely makes me feel like somebody can definitely be indul overindulging in drugs, which is why this person is in a state um, of confusion, okay? Um, why their house may be filthy and everything of that, okay? Um, yeah, someone just get ready because whoever you are, you definitely somebody who promotes growth, okay? Um, we have here, what do we have here? Accelerating at a, a, a fast pace here. So you definitely, um, shit, shit just grow. 
around you, child. Whoever you are, things just grow for the better around you. And then we have be out, take you out. So you definitely have here that someone is threatening to harm another individual. Okay, Jim. Um, this can be the person who has an inferior complex. Okay. This can be the person who was on drugs. All right. Um, they can be saying this to the person who they're trying to keep. Okay. Who trying to keep them from walking away or they can be threatening someone who um, they want to go towards. So this can even be somebody who, you know, is threatening this person who has this low self-esteem, especially this person is threatening to um, tell on them about this illegal activity, child. I don't know. And then we got 77 here. So again, we have guidance and encouragement. Good luck. Okay, release the old and happiness. So yeah, somebody is trying to release the old and they don't want that. Somebody is being guided, okay, and encouraged to release what no longer serves you. And someone cannot handle that. Someone or someone's aren't able to um, grasp that. Like, you know, they don't want the party to be over, okay? They don't want this low vibrational energy, okay? This low vibrational uh, frequency that they vibrate on to be over. They want to keep someone stuck in a cycle that no longer serves them, okay? But whoever you are, going back to this 1010 card, you need to know by releasing this, you're only going to gain more, okay? You will receive unconditional love, whether this be in the, the 3D or, you know, the dimensions by your ancestors or guys, okay? This has everything to do with joy, okay? All right? And then also we have the 8-8 car here, and that has everything to do with great success and abundance, prosperity, okay? Positive changes, wish fulfillments. So why the fuck would you want to stay connected to something where, you know, it's low vibrational? Everything, everything you could do, you got to do it on the scale of scheming and scamming and shit like this when you can naturally have this abundant life doing it the right way, okay? And this can be somebody's in-laws that's trying to keep them connected. Um, this can even be a parent, child, or somebody in-laws are trying to keep somebody um, from, you know, advancing, okay? And you'll be surprised how these people be, man. These older... <sighs> Child, these older hoochie mamas and cats and all this shit out here, they just be so low vibrational because so much of our elders, okay, our older generations, it's just, I just been doing a lot of, uh, I ain't gonna say research, I just been watching a lot of videos on how a lot of these older people, when y'all y'all think that we have it bad here today, but no, the past it was just as bad, okay? It was just as bad, the things that they went through. And it was also normal for these people to be separated from their families. They could just walk up and just give your child away. And no one thought anything of it, okay? And, and it's, just a lot of, it's just a lot of trauma that we are now healing, okay? We are healing the trauma of our ancestors, okay? And every generation is supposed to get better. And that's what we are here doing. But some people are now on board with that. Just like you have good energy, you also have negative energy that does not want it to change. But you got to fight through that, all right? Oh, my gosh. All this stuff, and then we got 999. Nine, nine. So embrace change. I can't never make this shit up. Embrace change. Completion of a cycle, okay? Wow. Like, child. Yeah. Hold on to your seats because things can get a little rocky, okay? Because, you know, they're going to fight you hard. They're going to fight you hard, but trust me, you stand 10 toes down and believe in that better is upon you, okay? Um, <clears throat> it's worth the fight, okay? That's all I'm going to say. It's worth the fight. Oh, God, and then we have a gun here, so we do have this B out. I'll take you out. Um, so someone definitely could be, you know, trying to make good on their threat. Sorry, my phone wrong, but yeah, somebody can definitely be coming towards someone with a, a, a bang bang, okay? Um, someone definitely can get hurt. All right. So y'all just be aware of your surroundings and, and stay away from these low vibrational peoples whom the universe, God, the ancestors are trying to um, free you from. OK, because this definitely seems like a damn death sentence or a prison sentence being connected to people like this in this low vibration. OK, um, <clears throat> so y'all just be mindful. OK, then we have an earth sign here. So an earth sign may need to be careful. OK, or somebody need to be careful of an earth sign here. And that is Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. OK. Um, somebody can be coming towards you with the bang, bang, or this can be the person that has the bang, bang. I don't know. Just be careful. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this can be a, a group of people. Okay. Cause it says, um, <clears throat> when two or more people come together here. Okay. So this could be a group of individuals who are, you know, plotting to do this to one person or multiple people. I don't know, but you definitely have a group of people here who are plotting on something. Okay. And then we have here your come up. 
will leave some people tore up. So again, yeah, and it says shine anyway. So again, somebody does not want you to elevate. They don't want you to elevate. They do not want you to leave them behind. Because whoever you are, whatever it is that you have, you are the reason why these people may have this material gain, okay? You may be the reason why these people are able to um, get in certain circles or something like that. You are the reason why these people may be prosperous in some way, shape, or form. But you are being told to let go what no longer serves you. Do not be afraid to walk into something new. And this is why we have that. They put in doubts in your damn mind here. These people are trying to tell you that you're doing the wrong thing, but you are not doing the wrong thing. You are doing what you know you're supposed to be doing, okay? And I know you feel it. I know you feel it. Do not allow their doubts to become your reality. Do not stay stuck in something that you are not meant to be stuck in. Everything has a season and a reason. Cycles end. New things begin. The old has to die off so new can grow. Shit. Just like the fucking seasons, man. Come on now. Okay, and then we have collapse. So, yeah, something is about to fall down. And if your ass don't get out of the way, you're going to fall down with these motherfuckers. Or whatever this is about to collapse, you're going to fall right down with these individuals. But something is definitely coming down. This damn scamming ring here, this illegal activity, whatever this shit is that these motherfuckers are doing, this shit about to fall down. Something about a child here. Someone child can be involved. This can even be some illegal activity. They're doing something. Somebody could have, you know, took over somebody's child identity or something like that. Somebody could have done something to a child. This illegal activity shit could be involved in a child or somebody, a child can be involved in this. I don't know. And then we have here a married man is cheating. So child shit, a, a grown ass man could be around here messing with a child or I don't know. But it's something about we had this twice. We have an I'm not husband material. I'm for the streets. And we have a married man is cheating. So this man definitely is fucking cheating, whoever he is. And I hope he ain't messed with no goddamn children. I sure not hope he ain't, but if you is, bitch, you finna get everything that comes to you. And then we have a death angel. My God, I hope ain't nobody finna lose a child. My God, I hope ain't nobody finna lose a damn child. Somebody could be trying to take somebody's child out. So y'all be watchful of the company you keep and pay attention to your children, who you leaving them around. Trust what you feel if something feels off. Okay, but somebody can definitely be trying to do something to a child. And damn it, we got 888 eight, eight power strength. Okay, you being on the right track. So whoever you are, you definitely on the right track. Oh, I'm on the right track of what the hell I'm saying here. We got 88 and then we got 888. Eight, eight. And that's also an indication of abundance. Ooh, we have ego death. So somebody having a damn ego death here. Somebody got a real big ass ego. And they, they getting put on their head because they getting served with a heavy dose of karma. I can't be rejected. I can't handle being rejection. Okay. What the fuck, girl? Get it out. I can't handle rejection. So somebody can't handle rejection, child. I don't know if there's somebody want to come towards you, Jim, and, you know, they they afraid that you may turn them around, okay? Um, all right, I don't know, but listen, I don't know. And then we have to turn pain into gain, okay? There's power in pain. So some of y'all definitely, you know, may have been through some situations, and you may have, you know, Maybe making a profit off of whatever it is that you learned during your time of pain. I'm not going to even, I mean, I'm not going to say it's not pain, but through your time of growth here, okay? You definitely turn that damn pain into power and you could be making some money off of what you learned through your dark season, okay? Somebody could even want this to happen to somebody's child or to you, okay? And then we have here somebody that's in a um, HR position here human resources person here that's involved this could be the person <clears throat> who either you know gained from their pain or tried to cause somebody else some damn pain here and then we got a mechanic here so it's something about a mechanic so this can be something to do with a dealership okay or some, so i don't know um yeah but whoever you are they're highly intimidated of you okay these people feel like you overshadowed them, like you shine too bright for them, like you, you know, 
when you come around, you like the trees. You just, you, you just put shade over these motherfuckers, okay? <laughs> and then we got something significant about jewelry. We do have a surprise up here, child. Somebody could be trying to bring somebody in some jewelry. Or ask somebody to marry them. I don't know, child. And this can be that rejection shit going on. Somebody, oh, then we have here somebody has major addictions. And like I was saying, somebody's zombie shit. Somebody's definitely on some type of substance here that keep them in a um, coma-like state, okay? Major addictions here. Child, somebody might want to come in and, you know, offer you some type of relationship with something like this here. They might bring you some type of jewelry. However, this person, you know, they got a big ego and they're afraid of their ego being hurt, okay? So this person cannot handle rejection, Jim. However, whoever you are, you got to do what's right for you. You got to do what's right for you. I don't know if this person right for you or not, okay? But you definitely got to do what's right for, you, right for you. And whoever you are that may want to come in and afraid of rejection, afraid of rejection, you will never know, okay? But you just got to you got, you got to go for it. If it's meant for y'all, then it's gonna y'all going to rock together. But if it ain't, hey, you got to let it, the chips fall where they may. You'll live to see another day. The color green is significant. This can have something to do with somebody's heart chakra, okay? Yeah, somebody definitely is reflecting at this time or whatever they're reflecting on. Um, it looked like they may have gotten a kick out of something in the past, but they said they're not laughing anymore. Something is not funny and somebody's doing some reflection, um, maybe on some past actions, okay? We have a love-hate here. So this could be somebody, you know, have a love-hate um, feelings towards you, okay, for whatever reasons. Figuring out why they hate you. Okay, this could have been. We have something about Friday is significant. Something about self care has everything to do with beauty, Venus. Okay, and then we got a patriarch. So this can be an older gentleman. This can be somebody, a man that's in a position of power, authority. Okay, or this can just be somebody, um, father. Okay, grandfather. Hmm. And then we have a sleeping with the ops. So somebody is realizing or needs to realize that they're sleeping with the ops. This patriarch could be figuring out that he was sleeping with the um ops, okay? This man could be figuring out whoever he's with was not really for him, okay? This person could be trying to plan on having him harmed, okay? Yeah, and then we have, I came into your life to hold you back and um, restrict you in life, child. <laughs> Can't make this shit up. So somebody figuring this out. Or if you with somebody that would like this here, Jim, you know, whoever you are, this person definitely was not sent in to help you prosper at all. They was only there to take from you and to put you on the wrong track, okay? And then we had, have, yeah, they betrayed you for material gain, but they finna lose all this shit. They finna lose all of it. That's why they, and some of this can have somebody in a rampage, okay? This person has a violent heart here, okay? This person go, is on a rampage, and we already have it. Somebody got a gun. I'm telling you, somebody ain't able to function without that damn material shit here. That's what make them feel powerful. That's what make them feel like they're better than everybody. If they like that, I just feel like this person toot their nose about individuals if they don't have um certain you know material name brand shit on them or something like that. Crazy and a motherfucker. Okay. Um, and then we have faded pregnancy child, and then we have the mere thought of you excites me. You arouse me, child. Some of y'all, she y'all gonna get pregnant. And then we have here I fantasize about what life would look like with you. That just flipped out. And then we have a masculine energy. So a masculine energy could be feeling this well about a woman. All right, gentlemen, until next time. Come on, love you all later.